One of the best things I did this year was pay for coaching. I paid for a lot of networking groups and just tried to learn as much as I can. I'll tell you guys, it was about five racks, about $5,000 to get into a crypto mastermind to learn from the best. Who, who are the guys that are millionaires in crypto? I know about crypto. I know about the technology. I, you know, I got into mutant apes early, but did I become a millionaire off it? Absolutely not. And uh, I should have sold it when it was at $100,000. I didn't. I sold it at 30K. So obviously there's things that I need to learn, right? So that's why I got a coach where I joined a mastermind where I can have exposure to someone who has made those seven, eight figures. Like there's a guy, I'm not going to say his name, but I paid for his time to learn how he grew his Twitter. He's not in my niche, but he was the only person I could see that, you know, I could pay for. I paid like $700, $700 for an hour of his time. It was somewhat helpful, um, but again, it just, it, it was one step forward in the right direction, which is more important than anything, right? Join the CEO network with, which genuinely has been the most effective network and coaching because um, I've had access to millionaires in different industries, a lot of them in the content space or in the personal branding space. So I get to learn how different people build out their personal brands, right? It is 7.42 in the morning. Usually I start work at 8, but today I had a meeting and presentation of sorts at 7 a.m. So I had to wake up extra early. It's one of those days. Let me show you what I got going on. I literally have a meeting every 30 minutes today. We got a full day's worth of work in. It's gym time, baby. Time to, you know, get it in. All right, workout done. Now it's time to go um, record my podcast. Yeah, we started this podcast and it actually started to like do its thing. Like at the moment, we've got about 500 subscribers, but we're over the 10,000 view mark. We're getting views, we're getting subscribers. And also we've already gotten some kind of um, deals. Like I got to go to LA like two weeks from today, actually, to go do commentary on an amateur MMA fight. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Salute. Right here. Badass fighter and coach trainer out here. What's up, fellas? Hell yeah. You got the producer, Mr. Producer over there. I would try to say. Just got through a bunch of meetings for work. Honestly, the best part about working from home is uh, Fridays are pretty light especially in the industry I work in. I work with a lot of banks and stuff and people in banks really don't, you know, it, it's Friday. You get what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, chill. So a lot of the meetings, like the, the, the mornings are very meeting heavy. And then at the end of the day, I can just kind of chill or, or just do some like uh, stuff to get ready for the next week. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed from this podcast. And, uh... As you just saw, I just got done doing a podcast with, uh, people from the CEO network is, again, the best network that I joined this year. Um, uh, my boy Niles, my boy Leonard, we had a very insightful podcast. This was the first time I did a podcast where the uh, the focus is on style, right? The focus is on basically what I'm talking about, style, confidence, um, just personal image for men. And uh, it was great, man. I really enjoyed it. I'm actually now looking forward to doing more of that. All right, it's Saturday, y'all. I spent all night last night hanging out with my pops, my brothers. I got work later. And uh, before work, I need to get my training in. So I'm on my, well, on my way to see the infamous Clint Cornell. Good range. And we go at close range. All right, training's out of the way, boxing now, gotta go second job, weekend job, go pour wine, you know, but we're getting after it, man. We're not playing about this shit. All that shit I be talking on Old and New Money podcast isn't me talking, I really live it, and this is me showing y'all. So this is me right here going to my second job, going to my weekend job um, to make some extra money. All right, so that was my week. Um, I did a shitty job of documenting this week, but again, I'm, I'm just now getting into the swing of things, okay? Just bear with me. You gotta suck before you get better, okay? That's one of the things I learned this year. You gotta suck before you get better. 
and I'm just getting back into the swing of things. So once I make this more regular and I keep vlogging, keep making videos, keep making content, the shit will get better. And the people that's been, that'll fuck with me this time next year are gonna appreciate this video. Um, but I got a lot of shit coming down the pipeline these next couple weeks. Uh, they're gonna be really interesting. So I'll, I'll have a lot of things to vlog that are not just me, you know, working from home and working out. Peace.